This we designated as our shelter in place room. So this is um, a large full face respirator. Summer Spencer is from Torrance, California, a city roughly 20 miles south of Los Angeles. And then I've been in Girl Scouts for a couple of years, so I also have the tinier sashes with other things on them. For her final Girl Scout project, Summer created a safety plan in the event of a specific kind of chemical leak at the nearby oil refinery. A major leak here could endanger everyone within several miles. And around the U.S., there are many refineries just like it. The chemical is called hydrofluoric acid, or HF. It doesn't take a whole lot of it to burn skin, damage internal organs, or even kill. You might know it as the acid used to dissolve bodies in the show Breaking Bad. You see, hydrofluoric acid won't eat through plastic. It will, however, dissolve metal, rock, glass, ceramic. But what makes the acid truly dangerous in real life is its ability to form a low-hanging, fast-moving, deadly cloud of gas. In the 1980s, a group of government scientists, led by Dr. Ronald Koopman, conducted experiments in the Nevada desert. What you're seeing is a cloud of vaporized hydrofluoric acid. For two minutes, the scientists released hydrofluoric acid out of a golf ball-sized hole. Then they measured how far the resulting gas cloud traveled. Even two miles away from the point source, HF levels were twice the concentration known to cause death. It went further than we had expected and was more of a hazard than we had expected. HF is often used in enormous quantities in the production of high-quality gasoline. There are chemicals that do the same thing as HF while posing less of a threat, but many oil companies say these alternatives are too costly or unproven. According to an investigation by the Center for Public Integrity and ABC News, over 16 million people in the U.S. are at risk in the event of a serious hydrofluoric acid release. Fortunately, there haven't been any worst-case scenarios, but there continue to be near misses. McCrane apparently dropped a piece of hardware severing a line that runs from a tank of very dangerous hydrofluoric acid. Safety precautions failed to fully stop a release of a little known but highly lethal chemical. Tens of thousands of gallons of HF will have to be neutralized. More recent close calls pushed the U.S. Chemical Safety and Hazard Investigations Board to say the next time workers and those living nearby won't be so lucky. Which takes us back to Torrance, California. Six years ago, there was an explosion at the refinery that launched an 80,000-pound chunk of debris into the air. That piece landed just a few feet from a tank containing a form of hydrofluoric acid. I don't really think much of it other than maybe I'll get to miss PE. But that day when I got home, my dad explained to me that if the explosion had actually punctured that tank, me and my classmates could have died that day. Summer was only a kid back then, but the explosion left a deep impression on her. Years later, she decided to take matters into her own hands. She designed her Gold Star Girl Scout project around what community members could do in the case of an HF leak. Very few people know about the issue, and so very few people are concerned about it. I started to question why isn't the school prepared for a release? Why does nobody know about this? Summer felt the need to inform and protect fellow Torrance residents. She consulted with experts and created a document containing all of the necessary safety information about HF. I try to make it as simple as possible. It is for the everyday person to read and for the everyday person to be able to create their own shelter-in-place protocols from. With the help of her father, Case, an environmental engineer, Summer also built a series of interactive maps so Torrance residents could find out their potential risk of exposure to a chemical release. Yes, they're called uh, death and injury maps. People could actually search their address. It broke it down for people so they could cost-effectively protect themselves and the people around them. Summer is quick to point out that her safety guidelines don't do anything to actually lower the possibility of a catastrophic HF release. That would require additional safety measures, which would have to come from a government body or the refinery itself. The city has tried to make changes in the past. In 1989, Torrance filed a lawsuit against the company that is now ExxonMobil, calling the refinery a public nuisance. In response to mounting pressure, Mobile agreed to dilute their HF solution, switching to what they called modified hydrofluoric acid. 
But experts say that's not necessarily good enough. The consequences of releasing modified HF are not really any different than the consequences of releasing HF. I've never been convinced by the industry's response that it was sufficient. In Torrens, activists have continued to demand meaningful change, but have been frustrated with what they see as lack of action. At a national level, there are examples of progress. Refineries in Utah have recently rolled out new alkylation units that use safer catalysts than HF. That means they won't vaporize and aren't nearly as explosive. But the current Torrance refinery owner, PBF Energy, like others in the industry, continues to argue that switching to an alternative chemical is too costly or not proven enough. But if a serious HF leak were to happen, the results would be devastating. And there's only so much that residents can do. When picking a shelter-in-place room, you want to pick an interior room that's the least exposed to the outside. So here, there's no windows. There's one door and one air vent. So this is an ideal room to shelter-in-place in. Summer is proud of her work, but says that the responsibility for a community's safety shouldn't be up to individuals alone. I think that the refinery should be looking into other ways to refine gasoline. They made a risk and accepted it on behalf of thousands, tens of thousands of people, and that's something that's not right. 